<laughs> What's up, everybody? So, we're going to do a Get to Know Me Better video. This is going to be funny because every time I do this video, it's just funny. So, um, what do you do when you're not working? Let's see. I like to go, right now, I like to hang out by the lake. Let me hang out by the lake, the Mississippi. Like, let me hang out by some water, just chill, I like watching the sunset, you know, hanging out with my kids, um, you know, listening to music. Um, those would be the things I, I would like to do when I'm not working. Um, just relaxing at the house, just relaxing and sitting on my couch is just so fun. As I was a kid, I remember just wanting to get out of the house all the time. I need to get out of the house and get bored. And like now I just love sitting at the house having nothing to do. That's like a great feeling. I don't know. I love that right now. Um, <clears throat> did you choose your profession? Or did it choose you? Right now I'm a room service server. Um, I like it. It was pretty cool. I was like serving food for a long time, so it was a little, like a shoe in. Um, started working for some nicer hotels, and, and um, I do a room service server. My job's super easy. I make pretty good money. Um, the first week I was up there, I, I served this lady a coffee, and the coffee's twenty dollars. Like it's a pot of coffee for twenty dollars. Like you're already paying twenty when you get in there, right? And um, so she gives me another 20 on top of it. Like I was feeling bad going up there with the $21, like this lady's gonna be pissed. And then she gives me $20 tip. I'm like, maybe I don't really care if these, <laughs> like I don't care how much I charge them because these people do not care. They don't care. But anyway, <laughs> what would you do if you won the lottery? What I would do straight up, number one, I'm gonna literally just give money to my, my closest friends, my, uh, family members, I would just, just hand out cash. And to like my close friends, like y'all are awesome. I want money. Here's a little chunk and, and just give, give to my friends and my, and my family. Like my parents would be awesome. Um, after I did that, I would invest some of the money. I got a few stocks I would buy, um, try to get some, some return on that by investing the money that I, a lot of it into things that make me money instead of, um, yeah, instead of spending it all. So I hope to hope to be rich, rich forever. Uh, like your quotes, thank you. That's so that's so cool how you said that. Well, oh, hi, thank you so much. You make me feel good already. Hi, people. Hi. Uh, what is your favorite? Um, let's see. What's your favorite song or favorite movie? That's a hard question. I would say my favorite movie, probably The Secret. It was the most impactful movie I ever watched. If you haven't watched The Secret, I think it's on YouTube, I think it's on Netflix. But this video is very about, it's about the law of attraction and, and basically it was something where I really learned that, you know, by thinking different thoughts and, and setting good intentions, it can change your day in the same way with, um, same way with bad thoughts, in the same way you can basically choose your future and create your reality. And, and what I mean is like creating the situation that you're in, like thinking about it and, and making it manifest into real life. And, and, you know, these people would use visualization and setting goals and, and just different things where they would, you know, and it's a very interesting movie. It, it changed my life. I'll probably make my kids watch it. Um, yeah, pretty soon because it, was, it changed my life, changed the way I think about stuff. So that's my cool answer for that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what's up. Um, what is your favorite holiday? I would say my birthday. What's your favorite holiday, guys? Comment below. Join the convo. Um, favorite man. I would say my birthday because then I'd just be like, it's my birthday. Uh, you know, like, how cool of a day because that's like, that's only your day. So you're, you know, only you got your, I don't know, it's just your day. It's like, haha, it's my birthday so I can do that. I like that. I like that feeling. <laughs> well, that's just silly. What is your favorite TV show? You know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with like Family Guy. I like, you know, if I were to choose one, I would say Family Guy. Bunch of different seasons. All the shows are pretty funny because they're pretty random. Uh, super funny show. Comment if you like Family Guy. Let's, let's just have fun, you guys. Uh, what is one thing you're glad you tried but you'd never do it again? Um, that's a super cool question. That's when I just skip things. Uh, <laughs> when people come to help for you for help, what do they usually want help with? Right now, it's like, oh, like more like, how can I change, you know, change my mood or how can I get out of this? And that's, that's awesome. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That's an interesting thing that people have been asking me for. 
let's see, what is your go-to band or artist when you can't decide on listening to something? I like a lot of, let's go through some artists. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> no, if I were to choose right now, like today, I'm going to go with a good hip-hop and reggae list. I'm going to go with Ziggy Marley. Good albums right there. Bob Marley. Okay. Bob Marley, okay. Young Thug. I like Young Thug. Okay, we can Young Thug it. Wiz Khalifa. Another great, another great artist. Um, there's my four. That'd be fun. Let's see. How, uh, let's see. Everyone seems pretty happy around St. Paddy's or New Year's and, and Halloween. That's hard. That's 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 what's up. So how revolution? That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, let's see. So how revolution? That's tight. Revolution is cool. I I know them. I don't know them, but I've heard their music. What's something you like to do the old-fashioned way? One thing I like to do the old-fashioned way sometimes um, is is shopping. Um, that's one thing where we should, you know, sometimes it's nice to go to the place and and there's something about being able to try it on or just being able to, like, see it and then plus you can get it right away. That's another cool thing about the old shopping because I go on Amazon a lot now, you know, but we're like the... Shopping, you can just go in there and actually get it right now. Let's go. Let's go. Okay? Let's get it. You could let's get it right there. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's going on. Um, but yeah, you can get it. So <laughs> that's the cool thing about it. That's something I like to do the old-fashioned way. What is something you recently formed an opinion about? I, I think the one thing I've, I've formed an opinion about being just being limitless. Like, I really feel like you know, certain things, you're just, you're unstoppable. If it's something that you can possibly change or if it's a decision you can make or if it's humanly possible or if someone has done it before and they look like you, then you have the possibility that you could possibly do it. Like, come on, it's, I don't know, there's something about me thinking that people are really limitless and, and their thoughts literally limit themselves. That's something that I really started to think is these thoughts are actually limiting the people. Like, your thoughts can create the results you get. That's an interesting thing that I've, that I've formed an opinion on. And that gratitude is awesome and it makes you feel amazing. That's another weird thing that I'll talk to people that I don't even know about. Because I'll be like, hey, by the way, gratitude. <laughs> it wasn't like that, but it was silly. Uh, <laughs> what are you interested in that most people haven't heard of? Interesting. We're going to skip that one. What's good, everybody? <laughs> The cool thing about the cool thing about having your own channel is you get to choose your own questions. Anyway, I just felt like going live. I'm silly. I'm silly as Billy, and I felt like it was a it was a necessity to just go live and get silly right now. What is the luckiest thing that has ever happened to you? I've won pretty good at the casino. Um, I won a few hundred dollars at the casino off of like maybe twenty. And that was pretty lucky. That was probably the most lucky I've ever got. I won, I won bingo. Who's won bingo? Let's go. <laughs> won bingo a few times. But yeah, like I, I, man, walking out of there with a few hundred dollars, I, I, was, I felt lucky. That, that was the most lucky I felt. You know what I mean? Uh, most interesting place you've been. My most interesting place I've been. So I live in Minnesota. So my vacation that I went on last was I went to Duluth, Minnesota. And this place is just beautiful. I mean, I lived here for a while. I lived there for a while, but um, but when you go back, it's just like ah, just a beautiful place. That's probably the coolest like place. You can just sit on the hill and just hang out. And there's there's hill, there's lake, there's sky. Like you can just sunset or sunrise. Like you can sit in McDonald's and have the best view. Have the best view. You're just sitting in there eating the McChicken. You know what I'm saying? Like let's get it. Um, and you got a bomb. And you got a bomb view. And you got a bomb view. You got a bomb view. Weird. Weird. Um, <laughs> biggest pet peeve. Um, biggest pet peeve. Uh, people that, I guess, make noise when they eat. Like, you put your fork up there and make a big, like, cling. And I'm like, who is that? That's you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a pet peeve I have. Um, That's so funny. Um, 
Let me just tell you something I've witnessed in the last few days. You guys ever notice this? I was out I was out a lot the last few days, you know? And so I noticed that a lot of people, like I was going to a lot of cool places and all these people kept taking pictures of stuff and then what they would do is they'd take pictures of their friend or whatever and then they would go to their friend and show them the picture. Here, look, we got to see the picture too before we before we gonna do anything like that. It was really interesting because I seen it happen, you know, more than twenty times in the last in the last day, and I'm like, geez, this is cray cray. Um, but it's interesting because we're in this different time, and, and people are on Instagram, people are doing their thing, you know, looking good and, and having fun out in nature and taking pictures, and that's cool. Do your thing, boo boo. Um, <laughs> it's just something I noticed because they would take a picture, which is completely normal. And the funniest thing, okay, like everybody was doing that where they'd show their friends, and all. Okay, let me just say, mostly the younger people were like showing their friends and that was cool. And the funniest thing is I saw these older guys and then like she takes a picture of them and then they start walking away and they didn't do the thing. They didn't do the like, oh, I gotta see what the thing. And then the other lady was kind of chasing them down like, don't you want to see what it looks like? And it was just kind of funny because I just saw like the difference between and it's not... It's it's just interesting because you know people are it's diff, it's just different times but it was interesting thing that I saw that that a lot of people were doing is show the friend you guys look you see you see the picture I just took of you that's you that's you right there that's you is that cool is that is that all right we can post it okay cool okay cool which is cool man I'm 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 saying do your thing boo boo um. <laughs> What social customs? <laughs> That's so random and funny and weird. And true. <laughs> That's too funny, guys. Um, Man, that's silly. I totally lost where I was in the world right there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What is something you think everyone should do at least once in their life? That's a cool question. I guess do stuff that you that normally wouldn't do. That's that's what I suggest. That's what I would tell people to do. I don't have a cool answer for that one. So mine's gonna be halfway cool. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see. I'm so lost right now. What is your favorite color? Green. Green's my favorite color. Green's cool. It's the color of my shirt. That's interesting. I'm just kidding, y'all. What is your favorite animal, or what animal would you be? Let's see. If I could be an animal, I would be a squirrel. That'd be lit. Be a squirrel. Be jumping around. Be like, have this cool little tail. Shake my little tail and be like, bear, 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 bear. that would be me. I'd be a squirrel. I'd be like, ah. And then be jump. And you could jump around from tree to tree. I just think it would be lit. It would be a lit of fun. Um, uh, what's your favorite animal? See if I had a favorite animal? Koalas. Koalas are cool. Brad Wallace. That's a quote. Um, koalas are cool. <laughs> that is funny. Um, what do you value in friendship? One thing I like in friendship is just honesty. You know, if you, someone's honest with me, I love that. Like, I, you don't have to agree with everything I say. You know what I mean? But I like the honesty. I like kindness. I like, you know, good attitude, good vibes. Um, that's the main things. Being, you know, being nice to other people, why not? Because that's me. I'm other people. We should, you know, that's me. Uh, <laughs> what do you say more often in life? Yes or no? I would say I say yes more often. Um, that's just my answer. What would you tell your teenage self if you could go back in time? Cool question. Um, if I go back in time, I wish I could tell myself and be like, okay, kid, like, whatever you think is going to turn into how you feel. So just be thankful for stuff. You're going to feel awesome, right? Another thing, you can do anything. So figure out what you're good at. Figure out what you like. Figure out what you enjoy to do. And do that as much as you possibly can. And do that all the time. And like back then, I'd be like, there's this thing called the internet, right? <laughs> Where whenever you want to do something, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to have, whatever you want to accomplish, you can do it anytime at this moment, right, right now. 
let two seconds ago if you had the stuff. So what I would tell you, you know, is you can be what you want to be instantly, like right now. And we can set a goal and you have time to build. Plus, I would be saying you should be getting an awesome job. You should be getting a really good job. So when you're doing what you enjoy, you can still have a good job and pay all your bills. You should spend all of your time finding a good job. So then when you have that good job, like I said, you can realize what you're good at, what you enjoy, what makes you happy and do that as much as you possibly like as much as you possibly can and <laughs> and like share it if the to the world if that's the thing that you have to do to to become successful in the thing you do then share it with the world that's what I would tell myself um and you know basically I would say you know that's what I would that's what I would want for myself is I'd be saying you should be trying to get the best job that you can and also you should be trying to quit your job you know <laughs> These things. And I would say, don't get credit cards, don't take debt, because you shouldn't be spending more than you're taking in anyway. So if you're going to make your money, get your money. <laughs> don't worry about credit cards, because that would have saved me some more time. You know what I mean? And, and so that's what I would tell my younger self. Word to the younger me. That's how things should be. If I could go back in time and tell you, that'd be kind of cool, but I'd be cool. I'd be like, what it do? What's up, Brett? And you'd be like, I'm set. All right, cool. <laughs> What's the hardest part about raising children? You know, I think raising children is awesome. Probably just money. That's if that's the end of that question. <laughs> because raising kids is awesome. Uh, I guess that would be something that's uh, that's a trouble. Sure, you know. What do you wish was different about? Um, let's see. What mistakes do you keep making again and again? I've created a lot of the. I've I've changed a lot of the things that I kept making mistakes on. The funny thing is, is for like. The first 10, 12 years, I kept making the same mistakes and, and smoking cigarettes. I just quit that almost, you know, 22 months ago. And good job, Brett. Thank you. I appreciate that. I've been working hard. Um, <laughs> that was me. So, but what I did is I took the patch and, and quit doing that. But it wasn't the first time. You know, I had to try over and over and over and over and just keep thinking, I can do it. I'm, I'm, I'm limitless. I can do this. I can... You know, and that's what led to, you know, trying over and over and over and failing so many times that I win. <laughs> just like a lot of the things that I, that I ended up doing is the more I tried, the, it just sooner or later it got done. No matter what, you, no matter what I wanted to accomplish. It's crazy. We're creators. Like, that's how we create our reality. It's kind of interesting. Uh, what have you created that you're most proud of? My YouTube channel. YouTube channel, Brett Wallace. That's the thing I'm most creative my most, I've never been so proud of myself um, for something I've made creatively. So that's something I, I would probably say is pretty cool. We working on it. <laughs> we going places. What's the best thing you got from your parents? I remember getting Mario Golf as a kid and thinking it was awesome. I remember getting a Game Boy as a kid and thinking it was just amazing. Uh, and also one day I remember getting a Pop-Tarts and that was equally as amazing um, in some weird sort of way. Um, so those are the best things I got from my parents. Mario Golf, um, yeah, I don't wanna go through the list. Brett already forgot. She said, awesome, what's up, how you doing? <laughs> we just having fun. <laughs> we just having fun. That's all. If you guys like this video, just smack the like button. Just hit the like button now. Appreciate you. Um. <laughs> oh, I feel silly. Um, let's see. What chance encounter changed your life forever? What chance encounter changed your life? That sounds so serious. What chance encounter? Thanks for the likes, by the way. I appreciate that. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed um, I'm just be hanging out on camera and talking for 20 minutes just talking to myself sometimes so I, I appreciate y'all for watching and smacking like buttons and, and all the cool things that you do so thanks for rocking with me um, for sure it's positive vibes all the time peace out whoop